The Bose A30 aviation headset dramatically elevates every flight. In this video, we'll help you get everything set up. Let's take a look at everything included inside the box. You'll find your Bose A30 aviation headset with the control module and your specified aircraft connector attached. You'll also find a carry case, a 3.5mm auxiliary cable, two AA batteries, a control module holder, and finally, important documentation to get more details on the headset and operations. Now, let's try on the headset. Notice the left and right icons inside the ear cups to orient the headset properly. Place the headset on your head and adjust the headband so that the ear cushions completely cover your ears and create a proper seal. Grasp the microphone base and adjust the boom so the microphone is half an inch from your lips and the white dot on the microphone base is facing your mouth. By default, the microphone assembly is attached to the left ear cup, but it can be easily moved from one ear cup to the other. First, open the two latches at the base of the microphone assembly and then gently remove it from the socket. On the other ear cup, open the latch on the terminal cover and remove it. Make sure the latches are fully open and then align the base of the microphone assembly with this socket and slide it in. Close the two latches to secure it in place. Finally, slide the terminal cover into the other socket and then close the latch to secure it. Please note, if the terminator cover is not securely installed, there will be no audio in the ear cup. Okay, now let's insert the two AA batteries into the control module. For aircraft powered headsets, batteries are not required for operation. However, you can still install batteries as a backup in case of power interruptions or disconnections. Two AA batteries can power the headset for up to 45 hours. On the back of the control module, press down firmly on the finger indent and slide the cover down. The battery cover is tethered to the control module, so don't attempt to fully detach it. Make note of the indicators here, negative on top, positive on the bottom. Now insert the batteries. Close the battery cover and slide it back into place. Next, connect the aircraft connector to the aircraft control panel. The A30 headset comes with one of several standard aircraft connector options. The dual plug general aviation connector and the U174 connector are battery powered only. The dual plug model connects to the intercom with two connectors, one for the headphones and a shorter, thinner connector for the microphone. The U174 model has a single connector for intercom audio and the 5-pin XLR and 6-pin connectors provide the headset with both aircraft power and intercom audio. The headset will automatically power on if connected to aircraft power. For battery-powered models, press the power button on the control module. Next, if your model supports Bluetooth, let's connect your mobile device now. First, make sure the switch beneath the Bluetooth button is in the mute or mix position. Mute will temporarily mute secondary Bluetooth audio whenever an intercom signal is detected. In the mix position, secondary Bluetooth audio will be mixed with intercom audio. And if the switch is in the off position, Bluetooth will be disabled. Press and hold the Bluetooth button until the Bluetooth light blinks purple. Navigate to the Bluetooth settings on your mobile device and make sure it's enabled. Select Bose A30 from the device list. Once connected, the Bluetooth light blinks blue. If you need to power off the control module, press and hold the power button until the light glows amber. Your A30 aviation headset is now cleared for takeoff. If you need more help, please visit our website or contact us directly.